Hi guys, welcome to art. I know it's a little bit different this week. I'm so sorry that this has happened to us, but it's all right. We're going to make it through it. We've done this before, right? Art is no different at home than it is in school. You just may have some different supplies than I do. No problem at all, okay? All I'm using today, for right now anyway, is this pencil and just this copy paper right from my printer. Um, you know, if you don't have these kind of supplies, any kind of paper will do, any kind of pencil will do. Um, even if you have colored pencils, we can make it work, okay? So let's get started. Today I'm going to be coloring, or I should say drawing, this entire page with donuts. And they're going to look like real 3D type donuts. And I have attached a how to draw a donut, um, like a step-by-step -step in case you need some extra help. Because I'm just going to start drawing out all of my donuts. Because in the next video, we're going to paint them and we're going to have a pop art donut page. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already kind of started doing this first donut here and it's really just an oval. And you go ahead and do like a bigger oval around it. You can see my lines are a little bit hairy, but that's totally fine. We can always go back and fix that. I'm just trying to get the right shape right now. Remember, if you draw light, it's a lot easier to fix than it is if you draw dark, okay? So let's say there's one donut. I'm going to probably put another one right about here. Maybe another one right here. It's okay if they're not perfect, you know, like we can always kind of correct things. We can fix them up a little bit. Okay. So I fixed up my donuts a little bit. I added kind of like this bottom edge here. And then if you look on the inside, so this part right here is where the ground would be. But then this part right here is the actual donut. And that's so when you look at it, you can actually see the inside of the donut. And I kind of have those there. You can also maybe add a bite mark. All I did, and I'll show you down here, was I drew like a rainbow like this and then I added just some lines so it looks like teeth marks and then when we paint this we can kind of make it look a little more rough and tough you know like someone really bit that donut and same thing here you just want to make sure that you have all of these edges I have some going off the page I have some falling the other way but now let's go ahead and get painting okay. So as I start painting, I just have this super basic watercolor palette. If you don't have watercolor, I also have some oil pastels I can show you how to use. And then I also have just some like basic colored pencil. So I'm just gonna show you a couple different ways we can color in these donuts. But first I'm gonna go ahead and start with my watercolor. Just have like, random brushes that I could find in my apartment because again I was not planning for this so whatever you have is totally fine I'm gonna start with like this light brown I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it on my actual paint tray if you guys maybe have like a glass plate or something that would probably work a little bit better but to get this really light donut brown, you want to add a lot more water than you want to add this paint or this pigment. We'll call it pigment for the purposes of this lesson. So I just keep adding water to my brush. Making sure it's all nice and mixed. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of test it. Make sure it's not too light, too dark. I like the color. I like to kind of outline what I'm doing first. Um, reason why is because usually it also happens to be like the darkest part is the first bit of paint that comes off. So anywhere I want more of like a deeper brown, I'm going to go ahead and paint first. A really good spot for this is this inside lip of your donut. Because that's where the light is not hitting, right? Do you see that's a little bit lighter now? I personally think that this donut needs a little bit of yellow added to the brown. You don't have to do this step. You see, I just added a little bit of yellow, made it a little bit lighter. And now what I paint 
It has this little bit lighter color. Also, please just note that this is copy paper or printer paper, so it doesn't like a whole lot of water added, and it tends to want to like rip and tear. So if you notice that your paper is getting really soft, just stop painting and move on to a different area for right now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the top of my donut, and I want like a really pretty pastel pink. So in my palette, I have this white, which doesn't look super white right now because I really need to clean this palette. But then I also have like a pink or a red, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix it on my palette. And I should have really cleaned this first because this is so gross and dirty looking. Sorry, guys. Okay, now I have like this really nice light pink that I want, and it looks brown, so I'm going to add more red. Okay, this I can live with. It's a little bit more coral than I wanted, but I think I might have had brown on my brush still. Roll with the punches, guys. It's all I can say. I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this donut. I'm going to add a little bit more water to my brush so it smears really nice. Again, it doesn't have to look like super perfect. And remember, anywhere that I want like a shadow, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit darker. I might even add like some drips, like some like frosting drips right now. And I'm just gonna go all the way around with like those darker and same like right in here, kind of where like the shadow hits again. And up and around. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of my white. I'm just gonna add like a highlight to my donut. Right, because that, that frosting or that sugar coating, super shiny. So this is what I have for my first donut. Really basic, it's not even like filled in all the way. But it's okay, because I'm gonna go back through with other materials and kind of spruce it up a little bit. So if you have like crayons or something, that would be awesome too, anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys how to paint this donut here, especially with the teeth marks. And then I'm gonna just speed up my video so again, your darkest areas first. Everything looks darker on this paper because it doesn't hold water. A little bit of paint right there. And see, I, like, I'm not even doing this perfectly. It can be a little bit messy. It's supposed to be fun. Now I'm just gonna, you kind of want to paint these the direction of the teeth. This way you see how my brush strokes are going with the direction that you would bite it, that's so that it actually looks like bite marks. And now I'm gonna go in with this darker brown. I just added less water. And maybe even a little bit of black just to really deepen a couple of those marks. And then you kind of just go back and carefully fill it in. Again, I'm gonna use a little bit more brown kind of deepen in those marks because those marks are going to have like lines are going to look shadowed, right? Okay. I think I'm going to make this donut maybe like a, like a tealish blue. Yeah, I think that's cool. Same thing. Just kind of making my edges a little bit darker where that frosting is. I find it's easier to go all the way around the donut like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my brush as I want it to get a little bit lighter right in here. And then anywhere you want light, you just add more water and add no more color, okay? It is such a beautiful day out. 
It's like 60 degrees here. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to go outside and walk my dogs later. Okay, I would call this donut pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead, paint the rest of my donuts. I'll see you in like two minutes. Okay, so I have all of my donuts roughly like painted in, but there's more. I'm gonna go ahead and take these oil pastels now. You can kind of see they're all different colors. And I'm just gonna kind of outline some of my donuts because I really want them to stand out. And you're gonna wanna wait until your donuts are dry for this step. Um, if you didn't have paint, this is literally, you could just color in donuts completely with these oil pastels. And I'm gonna keep going all the way around them. I'm gonna kind of maybe fill in any of these little spots. I'm gonna add more to like these thicker areas that I really wanna kind of show. I might even change colors to a little bit of a lighter color. I think I might use like this kind of like orangey color. Just add these little like light spots so it looks like the light's hitting it. And it's okay if it looks a little bit bumpy, it's just because of the paper I'm using. Again, we're in quarantine right now. Like this doesn't have to be perfect. Again, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my dark color and I'm gonna really just kind of focus on adding any little details, any kind of like little drips I wanted to add. Just trying to make them look a little bit more realistic. It also gives them like a really like stand out look. And that's where that pop art feeling is gonna come in from. Like these donuts that look like they're jumping off the page. And now you're gonna actually do the same thing to the bottom. So I'll just take like a brown. And again, like I think this is like a really good way just to make those donuts stand out a little bit more. You can deepen up the insides. Maybe just add some details like those little like teeth marks that you may have done. So like look at this compared to that. Like this is so much less flat. I might switch browns. I think that was a little bit too dark. Let me switch to a little bit more of like this color, which I do like more. It has a little bit more of a red tone to it. And I am just like very carefully just kind of going around. Maybe even just outlining like those drip marks to kind of show like they're shadowing, they're like falling. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all these up. Get right back okay, to you. So I've gone ahead, I've outlined all of my donuts. Another thing I added was a little bit of like white to the tops. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some sprinkles. Same thing. And I'm just gonna do those very carefully and just make like little hatches of all different shapes. So right now I'm starting with blue. You can even do like uh, like frosting designs like you don't have to just do sprinkles you guys can be way more creative than i'm being and this guy there's some it's so hard to record by the way with one hand and draw so now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna change colors so maybe i'm gonna do like this really pretty pink some will show up better than others especially on like these darker this yellow will probably, yeah, it looks really good on the yellow, for example. The green will probably have some really nice. You don't even have to add sprinkles to all of them if you don't want. You kind of see that? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add the rest of my designs. I'll get right back to you. 